Hello, this is Dale. Um, I'm going to do a quick exterior tour of our Wanderer 36 Mallard. And uh, she's actually sitting in Harlingen, uh, the Norder Haven, the North Harbour. And it's just an absolutely beautiful evening. The birds are singing, and I'm going to try to do this quite quickly. Um, so, as you can see, she's got a, a light grey hull looks almost white um, but it is actually uh, just a little off-white and the reason we went with that color was because in uh, in warmer climates hopefully the med um, the lighter hull supposedly doesn't get as hot inside and maybe stands up a little better although I love the darker hulls the dark navy blue um, really they're my favorite uh, we went with this gray as suggested by the builder uh, heel and we're really pleased with the way she looks. Um, you can see she's a raised salon, um, so you can see the windows um, in the cabin are sort of quite tall compared with some yachts. And um, she's got a, a cutter rig, so you can see the mainsail. Um, you know, obviously it's furled away into the mast, so it's in mast furling. That's the main, and then there's a, a small jib. Uh, which unfurls from this and then there's a Genoa uh, here so there's two um, sort of white sails um, you know for general sailing in the main so there's three sails there and we've also got a um, what they call a top-down furling Jenica which is a very large sail that's good for sort of off the wind maybe uh, from uh, reaching down to running so if the wind's behind you or to the side of you um, that's going to be like a really massive sail uh, really for light air so we'd have to you know use it only when maybe the wind is um, you know 10 knots or below we'll see but um, it's a lot of sail and we'll have to be very careful with how we use her um, anyway that's um, the sail plan as you can see we've got um, the Dutch flag uh, on the uh, starboard spreader, that's the courtesy flag, and we've got a red ensign and a, a small flag, um, which is the Frisian flag that has like little hearts, but apparently they're hooves in red. Um, so those are the flags we've got currently. You can see this bowsprit here. Um, it, it comes about, I guess, about a meter from the front of the boat, and the Genoa um, roller furler, um, which is uh, this guy here. So that furls that big white sail. And then we've got um, this uh, uh, here for the, for the top down furling Jenica, which is an, actually it is a white sail, although often that would be a colored sail, sort of similar to a spinnaker. And also, um, you know, this uh, bowsprit is good for mounting the anchor. And uh, this anchor is a Vulcan, a Rockner Vulcan, which, um, in all the specs I've read seems to do a really good job although as you can see it's brand new and never been used and uh, hopefully we'll get to use it before long perhaps on the Isle of Wight or the Isles of Scilly uh, perhaps on the Wadden Sea which is actually just at the end of the harbour here and we did sail out to Vleeland um, about a week ago with my brother um, but you know we went to the marina and didn't use the anchor uh, you can see um, you know there's a sort of that hole there where the anchor chain goes into the um, onto the deck and I'll show the other side of that in a minute but it's sort of really neat the way that there's all this stainless that's been built really custom by um, you know heels builders in Turkey so they've done a really lovely job with um, you know this bowsprit and uh, the, uh, the the railings which are very strong um, so that sort of custom stainless steel work is really cool Anyway, I'm going to sort of walk along this um, deck here, with, hopefully without falling in. Um, and you can see that we've got sort of a number of fenders. I think we may be buying some more. Um, and uh, I'm just going to walk aboard here. Maybe I'll just go towards the stern a little bit. This is the, the raised salon or deck saloon um, that you probably saw from inside in the other video. Uh, there are these round port lights, uh, which are pretty much all opening. There are two on the front, um, three on the side, and there's a bunch of hatches um, in the different um, cabins inside. That's the big one into the forward cabin, 
and the, uh, the toilet and the shower. And then uh, we've got here um, the main sort of um, hall or walkway downstairs or down below. And also there's the guest cabin. And I did time this video so that you would hear the bells in Harlingen. It's quite a feature. Um, on the hour and on the half hour, there's uh, church bells that ring. And I'm not sure how they ring. Uh, maybe it's, uh, you know, monks uh, hand ringing, um, hopefully, but it, it could also be computer controlled. I don't really know, but, um, you know, the romance of it is still nice. Um, so if I just sort of go back here, you can see this is the Bimini. I'm going to try to show you. So this was something that we had sort of spent quite a lot of time thinking about. And it does provide shade, which is something we felt was really important. And it also does protect you from the rain. But if you're if you're staying in sort of northern climates, um, you know when the sun's out, it's gonna it's gonna shade you. But we've we've got sort of tired of the sun living in Atlanta for so long, and we're hoping to go south. So that's the reason that we went with it. Uh, the plan also is to uh, mount a lot of solar panels on it. Um, so you can see the cockpit. Um, we've got the wheel, and there's a whole bunch of instruments down there. Um, you know, controls for the engine, uh, there's uh, winches, which are also stainless, which, you know, I really love, and some winches, and, uh, you know, I just go on board, hopefully without dropping my phone. Oh yeah, there's a really cool step that he'll um, added here, so um, it's easy to, there's scuppers back there for draining the deck, but this particular one, um, you just sort of stick your foot in, um, and it's really neat for getting aboard and I'm just going to go to the bow and here you can see um, sort of big slabs of teak which are on top of the bowsprit and it's actually quite neat you can walk forward and if you're agile step off the front we thought about maybe trying to put a ladder um, so if you're doing sort of Scandinavian mooring that's the style and you can get off the front onto the rocks or maybe onto uh, um, a floating deck like this uh, and so that is the, um, the two foresails I mentioned and then we've got the inner jib and here oh, these are the two port lights which are opening um, we must close them before we go sailing he'll uh, make that very clear to me it's my responsibility um, and here we have a um, self-tapping or self-tacking jib track so if it's windy and you're just using the small jib, um, then this is a really cool way to be able to sort of tack upwind. And uh, you can see on the mast here, there's a whole bunch of lines or ropes. Um, those are halyards. So for pulling up on the various sails I've talked about, then these are the halyards that allow you to do that. Um, here you've got, this sort of is the standing rigging, shrouds, this sort of inner shrouds and outer shrouds, all really beefy stuff. Um, I'll also mention that um, the mooring lines are attached to these, you know, really massively built cleats that are, you know, uh, super strong. So we're really pleased with the way they look. And I'll just sort of pan up the mast here, uh, just so you can see. Um, this is the mainsail that furls into the main. And you can see that there's, I think they call it a mandrel, sort of like a spiral thing there. So you pull on these lines uh, and it'll furl the sail into the mast and then you can sort of pull the sail out as well. This is the boom um, and uh, this is the uh, vang or the kicking strap, um, which is essential for sort of sail shape. And there's lots of different blocks, you know, a little overwhelming when we looked at it at first, but we're starting to sort of understand it better. Um, here we've got that, sil that bright sort of silver thing is a vent and we've got several of those um, that vent into the various cabins below. Um, here's one for the galley. Um, so, uh, you know, when we're cooking, you know, down in the kitchen or the galley, uh, we do have the ability to sort of get some of the air out of the boat. And also uh, the companionway hatch here uh, is really the best way to get ventilation if you're, you know, boiling water or making pasta or whatever. Um, yeah, and you can see the top of the Bimini. The idea is that we mount a whole bunch of solar panels on here. 
and that's a project for another day um, where we'd have to you know find out the best way to really mount them um, so I'm hoping I'll be able to do that in a few months and then if I come back here um, you can see the cockpit and it's quite large I think that you could fit you know six eight people around here pretty easily and this is uh, this um, surface here is flexi teak so it's really like a um, you know not real teak it's maintenance free uh, but it does look like teak uh, that's a little weathered um, and then the uh, this is a, a really nice um, table that was made this is actually real teak and uh, you know it unfolds and is uh, you know really useful um, and the companionway doors here they're also real teak and I'm tempted to varnish them that's my plan at some point um, this here um, is the traveler and it's used for um, you know really adjusting the main sail and uh, getting the right sail shape so we're going to start playing with that and learning more about it and in the uh, in the bimini here we have a window so you know, when we're sailing um, we can you know look through there apologies it's been dirty and we're not quite sure how best to clean it without scratching it but you can see the sails and uh, I can stand quite easily um, you know under this uh, without any real problems so I just leave it hanging there for now and then the last thing I wanted to show well a couple of few things is is this is the um, the lever for raising and lowering the centerboard so she will actually sit on the sand um, or on the mud if you pull the board up uh, which is one of the key features that I really liked it sort of reminded me of a sailing dinghy and uh, you know if you misjudge the tides then um, you know it's really uh, not too much of a hassle and then we've got a wheel um, and it's hydraulic steering uh, you can see this little thing here is um, full of hydraulic oil and there's a really large and beefy uh, autopilot below uh, that when you switch it on um, it'll steer the boat and actually the wheel won't spin uh, which uh, was sort of surprising when that uh, you know when I first experienced that but it really is a, an awesome design and we're really pleased with it and we've got a couple of plotter we've got a big well plotter I think it might be nine inch plotter and then a couple of other um, instruments there um, and then on top of that we've got a uh, controls for the bow thruster which is really an important um, feature uh, that I'm mastering right now anyway um, I hope you enjoyed this I didn't want to keep it under sort of 12 um, 15 minutes look at that winch shine um, that's uh, the port side and this is the starboard winch anyway I'll uh, close it here and if you have any questions just please ask and I'll be happy to um, you know, provide as much information as I can. Cheers. Bye.